Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's me, Lisa, and I am here back with you guys with another video, but this is something different. Um, I am part of a community uh, on Facebook. It's called the Geeks and Beauties Community. They're fabulous people. I've made some great friends through there, and they're so nice. They're generous, and they help you out. Um, and I noticed a uh, few people like Bad Kitty Beauty, I'll have her down below and a few others that um, post videos on questions they ask people in the group and like the Geeks and Beauties group or on Instagram or um, even in previous videos they'll hey write down below a question for me um, that you'd like to know and I will answer in the next video. Well this is a questions video about me um, for you guys so you guys can know a little bit more about me. I can get a little chatty in some of my videos. I try not to because I get... Depends on how much sugar or coffee I had that day. If I had a lot of coffee, I had lactose sleep. Sometimes I talk a lot. I don't know what it is. I drive my husband nuts when I'm tired. I go on a, a, a rant. Not a rant, but a rambling. So yeah. I'm making faces. Um... All right, the first question was from Bad Kitty Beauty. It huh? says, what are your favorite makeup brands? I really don't have a favorite. I just use whatever I feel like Hi. using. Um, let's see. Hi. I buy whatever like I see. Like, oh, I like that color or like that lipstick. I really don't have. Because I use, I just recently got into Too Faced um, like a year ago. Because um, I kept seeing like Zany Laney, um, I think Layla and a few others, they, they had Too Faced products and I wanted to try them because I never really bought high-end products and I seen them and I'm like, you know, I'm going to cave in and try it. See, I actually like it. Like I bought Kat Von D too, which I've always wanted to try. I... Like even the CoverGirl, I love their mascara. I haven't used it in a while, but I like CoverGirl's mascara. Uh, let's see what else. I like NYX. I pretty much, I don't have a favorite. It's just whatever works for me. And there hasn't been a, well, there probably has been a brand that I don't like, but I don't really pretty much use anything. Anything and everything. My makeup range is different all. Like, I have everything in it pretty much. Um... I have Hefina on here. Oh, they also, Bad Kitty has a YouTube video, um, a YouTube channel I'm going to put down below. And then next is Hefina. I'll put her link down below so you can check her out because she has really cool nail videos and um, Mystery Mondays which she opens toys, these little toy thingies. My son likes watching those. Um, well, it's Hefina and she asked a few questions. What is your favorite genre of books to read? I'm glad she asked me about books because she's also part of one of my administrators for uh, Book Hoarders, which I have on Facebook. If you guys like to read and want to join, you're welcome. I'll have the link down below so you can check it out. But I like to read if you haven't noticed. I do. I need to do an update on my book group. <laughs> I've been so behind on everything. Um, I like mystery. I like young adults. I like fantasy. Um... I don't read too many autobiographies. I, I like everything not of this world, pretty much. Um, I like love stories. I recently got in adult romances, which is kind of new to me because I try to open my, broaden my horizons and my reading, reading different stuff, and that's new. It's actually pretty cool. There's some good stories. Some are a little, not for young people but young teenagers and stuff because the adult romance but yeah um pretty much anything of this world pretty much magic stuff like that uh what is the high-end products you are you what high-end products are on your wish list oh god oh god i have a lot i have a lot <laughs> um i wanted to get a few of the kat von d products um, I want the Benefit palette. It has highlighters and the blushes all in it, all in one palette. I want that. Um, I want the Too Faced. I think it's the 
gold chocolate bar palette. It, it's brown, but it has gold on it. So I'm pretty sure when you open it up, it has nice sparkly stuff. Um, let's see. What else? I have a lot. I really do. Hmm. There's more stuff I just can't think of right now. I want a few Urban Decay stuff. I really don't have anything Urban Decay. One day I'll get Venture over there and try it. Um, but yeah, there, there, I have a list. Maybe I can find a picture, take a picture of my wish list through Sephora and Ulta and show you guys. <laughs> um, she also asks, which products in your collection makes you most happy? My... I would say my Graveyard Girl palette and my Kat Von D palette. I have one, I bought the, the one that looks like the Crypt, or not the Crypt, the, the window glasses, and it has all the pretty colors. I have not had a chance to play with it, but it, I really like that palette. It has a lot of bright colors in it. Um, next is from Zany Laney. Uh, she put, what is the job you wish you could do if you didn't have your current job? My current job, let's start with that, is a caregiver. What job do I wish I could have? Well, um, I wanted nursing, but I think at this point in my life, it'll be too hard to obtain. I'll be too old by the time I get there. Um, I really don't know because I used to be when I was younger, I was going to school for, I wanted to be in forensic science and I wanted autopsies on bodies. And then I got pregnant and realized I couldn't handle blood when I was pregnant. So I changed my whole aspect of that. Um, you know, I really don't know what it would be. I like to do many things, but it changes. It really does. I really don't know. I'm at this point in my life too where I question a lot of stuff, so it's like I've lost sight of what I wanted to do. So yeah, kind of a bummer question, I know, I'm sorry, depressing, but I really don't know what I want to do. Maybe something with books, that'd be kind of cool, I'd like to do that. Maybe a librarian, just to try. Um, I have kids, so I really can't have a job that travels a lot, so anything like that, out of the question. So yeah, um... I'll just throw like a librarian or something. <laughs> something easy, I guess. Um, next is from Angela. Uh, her YouTube is Zimsty Girls. Any tips for moms working full time with kids who also want to make videos for YouTube? This is hard to say because each mom experiences different things and have their own struggles. So what helps me kind of won't help somebody else, but I hope it does. Um, mine, my, I, I work full time and my husband works full time. And since it's, we don't have a babysitter or a daycare, I have to do graveyard shifts and my husband does day shifts. So we flip flop. So I try to fit in my videos whenever I can convenient for me because if I try to I notice if I try to push it on days where I really can't like I get off work at 7 a.m. and there's times I get no sleep and if I try to push it on those days where I have no sleep no patience and I'm trying to get other stuff done and I realized it's just not gonna happen so I would suggest don't try to push a video when you have other stuff to do. Uh, make time for you. Make time, find out what works. Like right now I had a little break. I, um, before I pick up my son from school, I already washed the dishes. So I sat down real quick to put in a video and he's running, my little one's running amok right here playing with his guitar and his, his little cars and TV. Um, that's if you have a stay at home kids my 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 three-year-old's home with me so if you have younger ones it's hard 
It is. Sometimes he's in and out of my videos and doing all crazy stuff and I just roll with it. And it's easier to have more patience when you try to fit something in on what works for you. Because um, I try to do it where I, like, um, <clears throat> when people, I notice it's hard for me when I have to schedule a uh, certain video, like collabing video on a certain day. Uh, that's hard. I have to try to find a day to record that ahead of time. Or if I know I have time that day to get it done and knock it out, then I do it. But I have to find what fits it in my schedule. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> like I said, I ramble and get off topic. Um, so yeah, find what works for you. Because everybody's different and everybody deals with things. And it's not easy uh, to do things. It's not. Um, as a parent, it's not. Finding your time. I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have my time, really. I really don't. My kids are with me all the time, and if I don't have them, it's because I'm sleeping. My husband takes the kids for a few hours, and I sleep. <laughs> um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, Omnea from Omnea Wish, she asked, if you could have your makeup done by a professional makeup artist on your... YouTube, who will it be? Um, oh, a professional makeup artist on YouTube. Um, I was gonna say Kat Von D, but she doesn't do YouTube videos. Well, she does makes videos, but to show her products. I would say I really like um, Candy Johnson does her makeup, and um, she's this one isn't a big YouTuber, but she's has quite a few um, subscribers but her name's Cotton Tolly and I really like her makeup. I, she does crazy makeups in different colors. I like it. And um, Candy Johnson, I like her hair and her makeup all. I, I like different stuff. I like bright and colorful things and sometimes my makeup's not muted. I like bright stuff. I can't help it. <laughs> yeah, I would say them. I'd want them to do my makeup. Or at least try to. Um, next, she asked if you could go anywhere in the world as a second honeymoon, where would you go? <laughs> first, I'd like to have a first honeymoon. Yeah, we didn't have a honeymoon. We did a Vegas trip, a 24-hour Vegas trip. We went to Vegas, hung out at the clubs for a little bit. When the sun came up, we went to the courthouse, got the document, then we went to, wait, we went and got married at like a little chapel thing. It was real fast. Chapel, and then we went to the courthouse, and then we ate at Denny's, and then came home. And then I went to work. More than 24 hours of no sleep. Um, but I'd like to, for a honeymoon, I think somewhere with a, like the Bahamas or something like that would be nice, or Hawaii where it'll be relaxing. I don't care for the beach too much, but for us, it would work best because it's nice relaxing. We can go in the water. We can do all different kinds of things. There's places to go. I, <clears throat> we are big on sightseeing. We like to go like hiking or to go look at the shops or the stores. We love going, looking at the different <laughs> stores and go shopping. Like sometimes we'll go to the beach here because we're in Cali. And we'll go to Santa Monica Pier and just walk up and down the pier or go to Venice, which isn't too far. It's just right there. Um, walk up and down the boardwalk or we'd go a little bit further in and walk around. There's a mall right there and and try different foods. We like we like going to different places to eat. Yeah, we like to try new foods. So I'd say like a beach or like Bahamas or Hawaii or something. I think that'd work for us. Um... She also asked, and for your family vacation, for family vacation, I'd say I would like to go uh, to like Disneyland or something with them. We've done it once. Uh, no, actually Disney World because it's bigger. Then I get to see Lainey if I head over there. Uh, <laughs> but um, we'll go to Disney World vacation. They can play on the rides and my husband and I were big kids and we like the rides too. <laughs> and buy the little souvenirs and stuff and go there and there's a beach nearby around in that area not too far I believe and we can go hit the beach over there too 
So I think that'd be fun. Disney World and then the honeymoon thing would be like Hawaii or the Bahamas or something. Somewhere where there's pretty water. I want the pretty water. I don't know. Tahiti's? Is that it? Tahiti? <laughs> and then it asks, if you can go anywhere in the world as a second honeymoon. Oh wait, no. Wrong, wrong thing. Um, from Mommy Wears War Pain, uh, Lynn, she asks, what are your top five books of all time? Oh gosh. I would say I love the um, of Cassandra uh, Clare's books. Uh, she wrote the 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 Mortal Instruments. It's a really good series. I like uh, Mary Lou's books. Um, they're they're all about paranormal activity. Um, I like. Trying to think. Trying to think. I, I read all the Harry Potter books. I enjoy it and I read a few of them twice already. Um, so I say that all of them. But I'm going to put that in one. Um, <clears throat> there was a shifter book I read. There was a shifter book that I enjoyed reading called Seven Months? No, Seven Years that I liked. I can't remember the name who wrote it but I'll post it up that was actually pretty good I read the few ones afterwards um I also like one more think of one more when I think of books I can't think of them for some reason um I really like the Game of Thrones ones I totally I like that one I actually did I haven't seen them at shows so sorry but I just recently read the book and I like that one so uh, Stephanie Clayton asks, what is your fave candy, favorite candy? I like gummy bears, gummy worms, sour gummy bears, sour gummy worms, anything gummy. And I like Heath bars, I like, it just depends on what mood. Sometimes I'll go for Reese's Pieces, and I love Milky Ways. And that's it. Yep. I, I like a lot of caramel too, anything with caramel I like. Since I like like Milky Ways, I love the Milky Ways. Um, she also asked, "What is the number one thing on your bucket list?" I want to go to Ireland. I really do. I want to travel. I want to go overseas. I want to go travel. I was supposed to go. I wanted to go when I was younger. I was supposed to go with my aunt and my uncle, and they chose not to because I was a girl and. They felt like I shouldn't go. So my brother and my nephew went. Uh, my brother and my cousin went, but not me. And they went to Rome. And my other brother went with them. They didn't go. They didn't take me. Boo. And let's see. Um, next one is by Angel. She has an Instagram and she posts awesome stuff. I'll have her Instagram down below. Um, if you could collaborate with any brand, which one would you pick? <laughs> collaborate with any brand. I like to do NYX. That would be fun. NYX or ColourPop. I love ColourPop colors. Um, before they were in Sephora, I liked them. Um, probably them. Or if Kat Von D let me collab with her. Yeah, I collab with Kat Von D. She let me. <laughs> and the next one is by Susan Snyder. Where is your favorite place to read books? I have no favorite place because uh, I read at work most of the time because I can't read at home. My kids do not let me read at home. They barely let me do this video. If I sit down and read... <sighs> mom! 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 Yeah, no. There's no reading at home. Um, the only time I can read is at work. And that's it. I would like to read at the park if I could. I don't have a favorite spot in my house if I could read. Um, yeah, I'd like to go read at a park. That'd be nice. <laughs> um, next is also from Stephanie. Uh, if you could vacation anywhere by yourself, where would you go? By myself? It'd be hard. I wouldn't want a vacation by myself. 
I don't know. I would like to go to Ireland, but I wouldn't want to go by myself. Um, maybe go to the beach and walk around the pier by myself. That'd be good because go to Santa Monica or Venice. Just walk around. I'd probably do that, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird going places by myself. I've never been by myself. Either my husband, my kids, or a friend. I don't hardly hang out with friends, but I'm with somebody. So, that's hard. <laughs> um, what is your favorite color to wear? Purple. I like purple. I like it a lot. And black. I, I like black. I don't know. I try to get out of that because I tend to go black as my go-to color. And I'd wear black all the time if I could. But I like purple too as well. Yeah. Um, next is from Eileen, which is my, one of my high school friends. She asked, what is your favorite liquid cover-up? I'm assuming she means foundation. Um, I don't have a favorite right now. Right now I'm using a Wet n Wild one because the uh, photo finish, because all my foundations are kind of orange on me. And I, the Lancome, I have a Lancome one and that's not really orange on me. It, it's a little darker. But I, don't, I don't know what's going on with my foundation. I really, really don't. Alrighty, you guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any more questions for me, just comment down below and I'll answer them for you. And I'll try to make another video if you guys like this one to know a little bit more about me. I'm not an exciting person. I'm really not. I have nothing really going on. Just work, kids, home. That's about it. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.